Okay, now we're back for real. Okay. And she'll get a water. She's got a microphone. That's fun. Turn this on so that we're recording it as well. is yours yeah i mean this is i mean i that one i've had for a while uh but this mixing board you've i, I don't when did you do the pod you was that zoom did you do the podcast with us i can't even remember like when oh we did this it in week? dallas oh, yeah, that that's was right it was like it was very very low tech but that was like, just on your phone wasn't it no we did it we i had a little machine uh, but yeah now we're, we're live on youtube and, and Twitch right now. I'm recording this so I can get it to the ATP for you. I'm just trying to <laughs> condense my Jack work. Of all trades. Yeah, I mean we're trying to we're trying to do a little bit of everything. Um, but Mitchell Kruger is our champion here. Do you need a water? This is for you. I would love that. Actually. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so thirsty. <laughs> um, I do want to just ask here. Uh, that was that was a tough moment in the trophy presentation, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, I a ball ball do. person. I I yeah. I didn't see it happen to be honest. I was walking up and I saw her down. I was like, oh. Yeah. yeah, I know. That was just like one of those moments where it's just like, holy, I, I've never seen anything like that. A ball person uh, hitting the ground there, but I hopefully mean, she's all right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So congratulations, first off. Thank you. Um, I want the first question. Obviously, there's a lot of drama, uh, but the first question has to be here about just the level of professionalism this week, because it seemed like there was just the, the, the priority for you was just getting through, being businesslike, and, and just finishing and taking care of business. Is that something you've been working on lately? Yeah, I mean, it's always something that ideally you want to happen. You know, I, I know I, it's kind of like a running joke among a lot of guys that I play a lot of three sets. Yeah. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, you know, if I'm down, I always fight and try to come back. And if I'm up, you know, like, there's just a lot of three set matches. Yeah. So <laughs> this time of year when it's super hot super humid you obviously want to spend as little time on court as possible right you know you don't want to add that added stress of like putting too much stress on finishing finishing the match you yeah. know but it's kind of towing that balance like that fine line of knowing that you don't want to expend as, as little as little energy as possible but you know you also don't want to get ahead of yourself and right. try to just blow through the match and and make some bad errors and mistakes and I thought I found that line really, really well this week, and uh, you know, I, I, I thought the one thing I thought I did the best this whole week was probably serve, yeah, top to bottom. You know, there was a little stretch in the match against Oliveri, I think, when my serve dipped. Yeah, and but, it affected your return game as well. Yeah, I mean, but other than that, maybe one set. Every other set, I thought I played this whole tournament. You know, my serve was clicking. It was just a couple of couple of maybe over aggressive errors or yeah. you know just not executing the way I need to but you know I definitely came in big in some of these big moments especially today there were some close games and I, I dug out a few close holds that yeah could have potentially changed the match for sure the one you didn't obviously getting broken at 6-5 in the first uh, yeah. I was frankly very concerned about what happens in those first few points of the tie break yeah. what clicked for you in, in those first few moments I thought you, I, I actually said on the stream I I anticipated you being down 4-2 at the turn so yeah, what I mean it's always easy like when you're in those long deuce uh, deuce uh, game point break point game point you know like and set points I mean yeah you, you just you just have to put it behind you and like I just said before, you know, it's, when it's so hot and humid and you're already being super physical out here, the last thing you want to do is kind of drain yourself even more by yeah. 
adding some unnecessary stress. And I thought I did a really, really good job of whatever, accepting that it happened and starting off strong in the breaker because, you know, it would have been very easy for me to go down a quick mini break or whatever, you know. Yeah. The way he was serving, you know, he connects on a few serves. That could be the whole breaker. Right. So I, I thought I handled that really well. Um, I, obviously, in the second set, it, it, things got a little bit messy. Um, <laughs> y you know with, with Rom, he can have these moments where he it's that gamesmanship thing, however you want to describe it. And I, yeah. I don't want you to – you don't need to say anything over the line, right? But I, I guess – I did plenty of that myself. He's <laughs> yeah. he was at one point talking to to Dave and Jeannie. Yeah. He was talking to everyone. He was I think. talking to everyone through that. What was going through your mind in terms of what you needed to do because the match was still in doubt, even oh, though you're yeah. up a break. I mean, I thought I was more liable to kind of fall into it early in the second. Yeah. You know, my first serve game, and then obviously that serve game that I dug out from Love Forty. Right. I thought completely changed the match. But once I did get that first break, you know, it was a little easier for me to kind of like just let him do his thing, mm. take care of my serve, yeah. try to get a, an early lead in some of my serve games so that you know, I'm not playing from behind and not adding too much pressure on myself. Yeah, but please feel free to drink more water if you need to. No, nah, sorry. <laughs> I'm hiccuping. I think I've drank too much. Um, but yeah, I mean, like you said, I, I don't want to cross the line or anything, but... You know, I, I have some thoughts on the match, and I probably don't want to say what I'm thinking. Sure. But at the end of the day, I'm just glad I got through it. Yeah. Managed all the extra whatever that was going on yeah. and stayed focused on myself and closed it out well. So I'm more than happy. I mean, ultimately, that's kind of the thing, though, right? I mean, like, no matter whether it's that, it, it, so much of this at this challenger level, you have guys who are all somewhat equal in talent right oh, i yeah. mean it really seems to me and it always has just these mental rises ebbs and flows that you guys go through <laughs> and you're going through a good stretch right now how do you maintain that from tournament to tournament and week to week right now especially trying to peak around the open i mean i think the biggest thing for me has just been getting that consistent match play yeah i think i mentioned it to you earlier this week like it's just been so hard this year for me to get a lot of consistent tournaments because you know, there has been very little tournaments in the U.S. Uh, you know, it's been tough to travel a lot, especially earlier in the year. It's starting to pick back up a yeah. little bit, but even this summer, it's not ideal. Right. You know, Lexington after Lexington, I, I very well could be done until U.S. Open. You know, who knows what's going to happen in the next few weeks if right. I can get into some of these other tournaments. But at the end of the day, I can only control the tournaments I'm playing. And, yeah. you know, I thought... Last week in Newport was a good first week. Yeah. Qualifying. I, I actually, it's kind of funny. It was the first time I've qualified into a 250. I kind of, I completed my, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, my like you got trifecta. Your GED. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, that was the last level of tournament that I needed to qualify yeah. to. I've done <laughs> Slam, Masters, 500, and like the 250 was the last one I needed. And I finally got it. And uh, granted, it was on grass, but, yeah. you know, I, I was feeling really comfortable and obviously carried that through here. Yep. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to continuing this next week and see if I can get into D.C. If not, uh, I'm planning on playing a UTR money mm. tournament in Dallas okay. the week after Lexington. So, uh, I mean, you got to take advantage of what opportunities you can I mean, at this point. In Dallas, yeah. I literally I can drive there. I can stay at home. Yeah. I figured it was a no-brainer. You know, I, I'm like 25 out of D.C. qualities. Yeah. <laughs> and... Uh, I know a lot of these last few tour events have dropped a lot, but I don't think that one's going to drop like all the others. Yeah. So It's going to get kind of desperate for players trying to get ready for the Open. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm i actually pretty lucky that I even saw this UTR tournament is going to be yeah. there because I had no idea until I saw someone posted that there was a women's one going on mm. a couple of weeks ago. And I was like, oh, didn't even think to check. I'll take a look. Sure enough, dates coincided <laughs> the week after Lexington where chances are I'm not going to get into a tournament. Yeah. So I was like, this is Perfect. Well, Match play, you know. You're going to have home. to look out for uh, ATP champion Hans Hock, though. I mean, that's, I, the, that's the trick. I know, but <laughs> uh, it's a good effort. Good week for Dallas. No, I mean, it's <laughs> a fantastic week for Dallas. I yeah. mean, if you guys could just maybe keep your Dallas Cowboys offense healthy. Uh, They're the ones that yeah. need to win now, not <laughs> us. Uh, big picture, though. Uh, listen, I know 
whenever you and I talk, we've, we've known each other for a long time, so it's, it's pretty comfortable. But you're a quiet guy, um, really. I've always thought that it's really been important for you to have this kind of family atmosphere. Um, and, and you're now starting to be able to bring Jeannie with you a little bit. Obviously, Dave, you know, the traveling coach. You've also got Dave Licker, Brad Stein's keeping an eye on you. Your parents, too, obviously. Mm-hmm. It is, it's a group. It really feels like a family. And I'm hoping you can kind of just talk about how all of these relationships, you know, coaches, wife, parents, dog, everybody <laughs> kind of comes together and, and what that means to you both on and off the court. Yeah, I mean, you nailed it. That was one of the toughest things for me, I think, through a lot of the COVID restrictions was just having one guest week to week, you know, because the last three years or or so, Jeannie's been traveling a lot with me. You know, not every week, but she loves to come and support and do her part. And she, you know, obviously makes a big difference being there for me. And uh, I, I feel like most weeks that she's there and I have that kind of setup that it goes well and I have that kind of familiarity and uh, yeah I mean especially Dave too yeah. getting him over to here from the UK you know it's it's been tough for him as well obviously yeah. with a lot of restrictions and uh, I'm lucky that we all communicate really well Dave and Dave Licker and, and Brad and everyone you know even though they're kind of got you got one guy in the UK <laughs> one guy in California one in Dallas but you know, they, they all know each other well and, and get along well and stay in touch. And, you know, we have usually have a pretty active group chat yeah. through some of these tournaments when it comes to game plans and strategy and that kind of thing. So uh, I know I have a lot of people supporting me yeah. that can't be here because there are still restrictions. But, you know, it's definitely feeling that support is there. You know, it makes a big difference whether they're actually there or not. Yeah. Well, I don't want to keep you because, frankly, I, I know you have a, a long drive in front of you in a Lock minivan. <laughs> in a minivan. Hey, the minivan is actually <laughs> really comfortable. The setup, you should see the setup that we've got. But uh, Who's driving? Well, Jeannie loves to drive, actually. Okay. She loves a road trip. Okay. So uh, I wasn't too big on driving at first, but they kind of both talked me into yeah. it. But it is nice having a car, having the freedom. Yes. Having the car there in yeah. Lexington as well to kind of move around as you need and yeah you know it kind of takes the pressure off you can kind of go on your own time but are you gonna eat here you're gonna have a nice i mean uh, listen you you, you have to have it some is. it's <laughs> three forty-five. do you have yeah. like a celebratory meal at some point i mean you want to make sure you celebrate because it's it's a tough matchup in the first round for you yeah i actually haven't even checked okay but i won't say anything but no but genie let it slip last <laughs> night <laughs> We were packing up, and she's like, oh, uh, you see, you played Bolt. To, and I was like, God, like, I didn't want to know. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, obviously, he's been doing well. Yeah. We practiced together a, a few times in Newport on the hard courts before uh, we both left. And, yeah, I mean, look, especially when there's so few tournaments, there's very yeah. few easy matches out here. Yep. And, you know. You just got to do it. <laughs> what, it. what it is, what it is, yeah. I, I can only control – how I'm playing and what I'm doing. And, you know, as long as I'm playing like I've been playing this week, I think, you know, should hope it be a good match. Well, I know I know there are a lot of people very proud of you. I know, uh, actually, Jeannie just texted me because your your parents were trying to watch watch this interview as well. <laughs> I, I, they I don't even know where it is. What, YouTube? You, you or too? Twitch? Twitch. Okay. We got, I mean, I'm going to... I've never used Twitch. I hate to tell you. I know. Uh, listen, I'm I... I'm not much of a stream, streaming gamer, but... It's... it's just, these are the things, though. I mean, like, the, the ability... You know, you guys to interact with fans is a That's big deal. Like Peter's I'm down in it. Dallas, he's, he wanted to make sure he's congratulating you, Gator Seventy. I mean, this is this is kind of it's pretty important. You know, like I, I'm realizing more and more, and I really am going to let you go. You're like good. the opportunity for human connection right now <coughs> in any form is mm-hmm. pretty important. And I think I think we all kind of like I I miss you guys when I don't get to <laughs> see you, you for too. a while. <laughs> but I like it, it's truly I think these are it's important and it's why it's so important to have these fans out here, Little Rock uh, here in Kerry and I mean look semifinal and win in those two weeks. I'm not lying, like it makes a complete one eighty difference as opposed to playing with no nobody there. Yeah. Uh, I was talking to someone earlier this week playing Little Rock where there was hundreds of people, kids, adults, just having a good time, enjoying the tennis every single day. And then the next week in Orlando, playing in front of literally airplanes and 
Right. And you. Yeah, me. Because <laughs> I didn't have anyone there with me that week. <laughs> it's just, it's so hard to manage those ups and downs. And, yeah. you know, who knows what things are going to be like in the next few months. But, you know, hopefully things start trending more towards this direction. And I hope so. I'm hoping U.S. Open doesn't change. Yeah. I know there's full capacity and no restrictions as of right now, but yeah, it's a scary time. We all know how yeah. that how that goes. Things can change at the drop of a dime. But yeah. Oh, I'll be there. So <laughs> that's the important. <laughs> I hope part. that there will be other people there <laughs> able to support me. But that's I'll be whatever. there. I will be there. Calling the match. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Mitch, congratulations. Uh, second title is is it a big one for you? Um, yeah, I mean. It's pretty. They it's are hard to come by. They you are. Know, some of these other guys out here, I feel like win titles every week. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to name names, but <laughs> you know, make it look easy. It yeah. is not easy, especially in this time of year. Yeah, well, it was well earned but this week. Uh, the forehand looked fantastic. Um, thanks, yeah. Serve was amazing, and yeah, just incredibly professional. I'm very happy for you. Congrats. Appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, go take care of your dog. I just I heard him bark. Yeah, I did too. I, <laughs> Dil, I think Dill's ready to celebrate. <laughs> Dill's got some kibbles. The whole way home. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you go because you got a long drive. I well appreciate done. it. Thanks. I will turn off your microphone. I'm going to say goodbye to the people here. Uh, it's already off. I got this little mixing board. Yeah, it's, I got all sorts of fun things. We can even send you off with applause. It's amazing. <laughs> Travel safe, and I'll see you since you're the open. Okay. Definitely the open. Okay. Take care of yourself. I'm going to come say goodbye to Jeannie. Okay. All right, folks, um, thank you for being a part of the pre and post games here throughout the week. Um, we will continue this at the next challenger I'm at. I'll, I'll see if I can try to figure out a way to do something in Cincy and New York um, just to kind of engage with you guys, just because, frankly, I, I miss doing it when I don't get to. Um, but, yeah, if you want to catch this entire interview i'll post it on youtube it'll be there so you can go back and listen to anything you might want i really appreciate everyone for being a part of this week like i was just saying to mitch i'm getting emotional here for a second the interactions i get to have with you guys means so flipping much it really does like like i think of these guys like my you know like my 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 brothers my my much 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 younger brothers all of them like i just want to see them succeed so much so i, I i'm happy i get to do it in person and i'm really happy to get to interact with you guys because um man it makes everything worthwhile it really does i appreciate you um thanks for everything all week guys and um yeah we will talk to you when we talk to you hopefully sooner rather than later okay <laughs>